Creatures of the world and welcome back to Coffee with Kevin Lynn. We are starting early on this hot, humid day. Hazy from the Canadian wildfires in the far north of Maine, up along the Canadian border in the crown of Maine. And I hope everyone is having a nice, warm, sunny summer day without the Canadian wildfire smoke. Wherever you may be, I hope you're having a day filled with fabulosity and strong coffee. Because you all going to need strong coffee for today's show, ladies and gentlemen. Get that dirty dishwater, weak coffee out of your cup and get yourself a nice strong cup of coffee because we are talking about the worldwide health emergency that the WHO, their own communist leader Tedros has declared. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about MPOX or formerly known as monkeypox, but now we have to be co politically correct and it is now been rebranded as MPOX and Tedros the communist leader of the World Health Organization. I know, I'm already going to the gulag. We've <laughs> My husband and I have discussed this quite a bit. I have uh, I've been going to the gulag for a very long time, and I am going to be having great company in the gulag, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, because I'm not a woman. I'm going to shut her mouth. I got an opinion, and I'm going to share it with everyone, and I don't care. We do have to talk a little bit in code because you know the restrictions are coming back and it just seems that whenever i do a show such as this where we talk about something that has to be talked about in a specific light i don't get any views so please like this video share it with a friend that is how we show the algorithm that is how we show the tech gods that people want to hear this information. Or you can go over to my channel on the Mean Green Freedom of Speech Machine, which we can't mention here, rhymes with crumble. So head on over there. I am Coffee with Kerry Lynn over there. We do have two, uh, <laughs> there was a mistake in creating Coffee with Kerry Lynn over on that other platform. And so I do have two Two coffee with Carrie Lynn's over there. They are both me. One is hyphenated, one is not hyphenated because we did not know, we meaning me, uh, <laughs> I'm so tech savvy, I did not know that two years ago when I signed up over there that you have a username and then you create a channel. I just created the channel version of my username. My username is unhyphenated and my channel is hyphenated, so please pop on over where we talk about things a lot more freely over there. And I do have a wee bit of monetization over there where I don't over here, but I am so happy to have 250 subscribers. Thank you everybody who has recently subscribed to my channel. Thank you for those who have been sticking around on my channel because you know, without you guys, the shenanigans wouldn't happen because I'd just be a crazy old lady screaming into the void on the border of Canada. Today's show is one that we have to be a bit serious about because the World Health Organization wants to handle this in a very serious way. Now, MPOX has been around since 1958, just so you know. However, in recent years, and I'm sure with, uh, with many, um, how should I put it? experiments, many you know they gain they gain functions these diseases and uh, they are taught to spread quite rapidly and in the 2020s um, mpox for the first time since 1958 spread through sexual contact of a specific lifestyle. Let's just put it that way. Um, and we had a few cases in the United States. We had a few cases here in Maine. Um, I think we had two cases. We had an adult 
just three hours away from us, um, that had MPOX and then a child had MPOX. And MPOX is very difficult to catch, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world. You have to have exposure to the pustules. MPOX is not a pretty disease. It is debilitating, it is disfiguring, and it does cause complications and it causes death. So it is something to be taken seriously. There are 14,000 cases that have been reported with 524 deaths. 96% of MPOX is in the Congo right now, but it, it has spread to 50 countries. And the other day, yesterday, it's fresh off the AP, Tedros declared a world health emergency. And while MPOX is very serious, um, you, it's a version of smallpox and it is debilitating. And I'm not going to put up pictures because it's really, really gross. And I don't want to gross anybody out, especially people who watch my show with kids in the room. It's just absolutely disgusting. And, um, it, is, it can be disfiguring all the pustules, um, after they're clearing up can scar just like smallpox did. So it is something that we have to take into consideration. And once again, all the doctors are looking for strange rashes to enter their offices or the emergency room. Now, I think that the MPOX situation has beautiful timing, doesn't it? We're nearing an event here in the United States of America. We are nearing November. And I think we are going to see a wild replay of 2020 or an attempted replay anyways, because Tedros, that communist that runs the WHO and he is a commie, authoritarian, authoritarian dictator, ladies and gentlemen, he has declared a world health emergency when 96% of this disease is in the Congo. Don't go to the Congo. Don't go to the Congo. Now, there is also another component to this story. And that is the shite shot that they have developed for MPOX. And let's say, like us, another arm ticket that was developed in the 2020s. Just let our imaginations wander a little bit to these uh, events that have altered certain people's realities. There is a shite shot for this. MPOX. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if it works. There we have it. That's my opinion. And uh, everybody's got to use their own discernment. But, uh, you know, there's studies coming out. Y'all you you go Google this. Y'all go Google this stuff. But um, it's not, things aren't as effective. Well, they're as effective, basically, as they were in the early 2020s. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world. Um, there is just so many... So many components to the onslaught of nasty things that they want to do in the world to the human population. We were lucky. We did temporarily escape being thrust into the World Health Treaty where... His Highness Tedros will decide what's a danger, what's not a danger, what the treatment's going to be for everyone 
in the world. And uh, we, we narrowly and temporarily had a victory. And we were not, this country was not put into the World Treaty where the WHO will get control over any manner of global health emergency that they feel fit with any manner of treatment that they mandate for the entire citizenry of the countries in the treaty. So we narrowly had a victory early in the summer, late in the spring, because we were not put into that. But let me tell you one thing. Because we got our victory, it's a short-lived one. Because now the World Health Organization and everyone who is constructing this treaty knows where the holes are in that treaty. And they know how to fill them. And by whatever means necessary, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, by any means, deceit, fear, they saw and they monitored everything that happened in our country in the 20s. They saw, I saw with my own eyes, people that were not eligible, and I know a few, that were not eligible for the treatment trying to pay physicians a little bit extra to have an arm ticket for them and their family. That didn't turn out so well. She'll listen to me, but nobody did. Um, not, not that caliber of person. They were out for themselves. And uh, unfortunately, they were out for themselves and they dragged their family along because I think that they had to at that point. And uh, how, can, how can you... How can you pay a little bit of extra, extra something, something to get something that you weren't in the correct age bracket to get and get it for your family too, because you wanted to be saved. <laughs> Y'all going to be saved because we see how that mess turned out and the World Health Organization knows where the holes are. They know how to fill in the gaps. So we had a very minor victory of being in the World Health Organization treaty. We're not in it, but that doesn't mean that these yahoos in Washington, this yahoo, Kathleen Kamala, ain't going to try to stick us in it with her co-conspirator, Kami Walls. Oh boy, do we have... Do we have stories on Kami Walls and what he did to the citizenry of his state? Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world. The world has fallen apart around you. It is very difficult to get the mpox. Don't rub up on people with pustules or rashes, please. Don't do that nasty stuff. It is right now confined to a certain lifestyle, um, similar to the... HIV issue that we had in the 80s when I was coming up as a teenager that was a big thing and it was confined to a certain lifestyle until it wasn't because certain uh, people were not all one way they were both ways and they did not want their heterosexual partner to know that they had a secondary lifestyle and of course that is how the HIV jumped from the certain singular population into the mass population in our country in my lifetime. So we've seen this. If you are of a certain age, if you are a Gen Xer, uh, you have seen how these things of uh, sexual transmission go. So do not rub up on anybody's pustules and practice practice safety safety first ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world and start eating a lot more healthy 
And, um, you know, as I always say, go get some extras at the grocery store. I know it's tough these days, but I think that there is a way that the ship is being steered that was very close to the last election cycle where, you know, mail those ballots in because we've got a world health crisis on our hands. I'm not certain, but I'm kind of looking at, uh, I'm kind of looking at the past and looking into the future. And I know, I know these People who run these organizations, these people who want oneness, some order in the globe, they see the cracks, they see the potholes, and they concede very small victories while they repair the loopholes. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, please have um, an amazing day. Be the kindness that you want to see in the world. And as always, Carpe Diem, seize your day, chase your dreams, follow your heart, because no one promised you a tomorrow.